there's a lot of interesting stuff to ask about language. Like you could look at, how would that work? You could look at GPT-1, GPT-2, GPT-3, 3, 5, 4, and try to analyze the kind of language it produces. I mean, that's almost trying to look at assembly index of in intelligent systems. Yeah, I mean, I think um, the thing about large language models, um, and, and this is a whole hobby horse I have at the moment, mm -hmm. um, is that obviously they're they're all about the 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 in, the evidence of evolution in the in the in the large language model comes from all the people that produced all the language. And that's really interesting, and all the corrections in the in the in the Mechanical Turk, right? Sure. Um, and and so but that's the part of the history, part of the memory of the system. Exactly. So you, can you? So so it would be really interesting to basically use an assembly based approach to to making language in a hierarchy, right? Mm -hmm. I think is my guess is that you could we might be able to build a new type of large language model. That uses assembly theory that it has more understanding of the past and how things were created. Where basically, it, the thing with LLMs is they're like everything, everywhere, all at once, splat, mm -hmm. and m make the user happy. So there's not much intelligence in the model. The model is how the human interacts with the model. But wouldn't it be great if we could understand how to embed more intelligence in the in the system? What do you mean by intelligence there? Like, you seem to uh, associate intelligence with history. Yeah, well, I, memory. I think selection produces intelligence. Wait, wait, you're almost implying that selection is intelligence, no. Yeah, kind of, I would go that, I would go out on a limb and say that, but I think it's a little bit more, human beings have the ability to abstract and they can break beyond selection. And this is what, like, Darwinian selection, mm -hmm. Um, because a human being doesn't have to basically do trial and error. Yeah. Like, but they can think about it and say, oh, that's a bad idea, won't do that, and then technologies and so on. So we escaped Darwinian evolution, and now we're on to some other kind of evolution, I guess, yeah. higher yeah. higher level evolution. And, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll assembly theory will measure that as well, right? Because yeah. it's all a lineage. 